Hey guys, I'm Natasha King from Beige and Taurus. Welcome to BT Travel. Today I'm taking a swing and I'm hanging out at an old house, not just any old house, I'm at this old house, Kitchen Garden Restaurant, where they serve up mouth-watering flavors in an environment that's just oozing with old Barbadian nostalgia. We're gonna talk to Julia Seely, she's the owner. We're gonna find out her inspiration. We're gonna take a look at the menu and we're gonna take a taste. So let's go check it out. From the moment you step through the gate of this old house, you get a sense that you're stepping into real traditional Bajan culture. Owner Julia Seely was inspired to create a restaurant in the parish she was raised in that is authentically, unapologetically, and deliciously Bajan in every way possible. So we are here with Julia Seely. Julia, I'm so excited to get to talk to you. Oh, I'm excited you're here. I've wanted to do this for so long now. I know, we've been trying to get yes, it together we for have. a little while. We have. But Julia, we're here. Yes, we're here. Yeah. Julia, tell me about this old house because when I came and I saw this place, I was like, oh my gosh. My grandmother had one of those. Yeah. My great aunt, look at these cups. So it's working. Oh my gosh, yeah. Barbadian, authentic Barbadian. Tell me, okay, tell me how you came up with the idea. Yeah, yeah. So for me, right, I'm the biggest ambassador of Barbados. I've been living in the US for 20 something years now, 22 odd years now. And um, like I've said before, I traveled everywhere. I experienced a lot of cultures and I'd invited a lot of people to my homeland, right? Let's right. get down in Barbados. And I find, although we're pleasant people, we do a lot of things right, right? I find we are not unapologetically, you know, Barbadian. Yeah, yeah, you know, we, we, we tend to, tr we're trying too much to incorporate things that aren't naturally ours, right? Right. right. So I called it my holding on to heritage. Uh, oh, I like yes, that. Yes, yes. How do we incorporate our grandparents Absolutely. and still ourselves? Yes. Because we're still quite different to our grandparents. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. But these are the kind of nostalgic things that makes everybody who comes through here, they smile and they say, oh, I remember these in yes, my grandmother's for house. Sure, and I, for sure. I remember my grandmother making my Cooling Milo. Your tea. Now tell me, what did you drink growing up? Was it Milo, Quick? A Horlicks. Oh, Horlicks, ah. for sure. <laughs> Everyone has a story. Yes. And most people will start to tell you their story. And for a local, it's nostalgic. It right. takes them somewhere. And it's normally a happy yes. memory. Yes. Um, and we're thinking for a visitor, it should breed curiosity. Yes. Right? So we figured, I figured, how can I mimic my grandmother's house? Where I take a local tourist, right. us, on a nostalgic journey and you know some foreign tourist who's here for the first time mm -hmm. uh, you know on a journey of curiosity how do we create a little museum in a backyard that oh. is just telling little stories with the things around About us who right we are. it was a lot of organic uh feeling right my grandmother had a kitchen garden so behind you have some broadleaf thyme you have oh, bananas yes. that are bearing you know some mint over there um, and we're gonna expand even more to the back. Um, the swing, every child has a happy memory yes. on a swing, right? Yeah. But we merged that now with 21st century of people like to post photos. Absolutely. And so where does it sit in our time? Right. And where are we dragging it from? Right. Another aspect of Barbadian culture this old house embraces is the sourcing of the freshest local produce and food for their menu, which is chock full of traditional Bajan dishes that are infused with a gourmet twist. A lot of our fish fishermen, you know, while you were here, Juan just came there. He brought us a bunch of conch yesterday, nice. right? Um, lobsters, the conch, we just got our lobsters, just fresh, mm, you know. Yummy. So we use a lot of the the community yes. you know to source mm -hmm. our our That's products fantastic. from right yeah the more micro the better for me mm -hmm. that little old lady at the side of the road she's who i yeah. want to to buy my five Those are your vendors yeah, yeah i want my 10 or 12 bananas or or, or my breadfruit right. my mango whatever right. from those right. people you mm -hmm. know um so that 
That really drives me. What is going on in our culture right. and where we are now and how does it represent us today? Right. But how do we marry yesterday with that okay. and make it one big happy family? So what's your favorite thing and what are you going to tell me I should try today? Oh, gosh. Um, I know everything is great. Let me surprise you a little bit okay. with that one, all right? right? Let me great. surprise. But it's all, you know, there's really no bad thing. Of course. There's so. something for everybody. everybody. Yeah. There, I see, um, I remember growing up, my grandmother used to do black eyed peas and frizzle salt fish. And I see that you have like a salt, fish, a salt bowl fish bowl. And all yeah. That. Yeah, that yeah. totally reminded me of my granny. Yeah. I don't think I'm, yeah. But Our breadfruit cuckoo is very good. Oh, and let me yes. tell you, the young gentleman, Dre, our chef in the kitchen who's making that is his grandmother's recipe. Ah. And he he breaks many whisks. He's whisking that thing for like two hours. Because you know, it was all in, it yeah, was all in, all in turn, the turn. The and let me tell you, he's a professional at it, you know, and that is living here today. Yes. True Dre. Right. And it was his grandmother's, and God only knows, maybe his great grandmother. Exactly. So the legacy continues. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Great. Now it's time for what is it that they say? The proof of the pudding is in the eating. It really That's is. That's what they say in Barbados. That's so what they say. Let's get this stuff proven right now. Just how good this old house is. I know. Hopefully you leave <laughs> with a smile. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes, yes, look at this. Welcome back. I'm so, oh, let's get I'm it so before excited. the insects okay, get yeah. it for us. Okay, great. So Tell here me what you we have, have here. You have obviously iconic dish, our version of our ham I should say Dre's version of a ham cutter, right? Yum. And then we have Dre's grandmother's breadfruit cuckoo. Oh that Lord, you have to try I'm, before I'm flying these fish. Yes, okay, yes. okay, okay. I'm gonna try it right now. I'm trying. Yeah. You you Let hold on to that one. one. Yeah, let and me let me try this, this first. Too. Okay, yum. Are you seeing this, guys? Look. You mellow. see, this is what you call mellow. <laughs> mellow. Your cuckoo is mellow when it is. It just falls off the fork. And then you have flying fish. Yes, okay, this yes. is like, this is so Bajan. Okay, <laughs> so Here it goes. And now, oh, thank you, rum Carol. Punch. And you have to wash oh, it down God. with a rum punch. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. He hit the spot, didn't he? Listen to me. Well, his grandmother, I should his say. His granny. He needs to really thank his granny for this <laughs> recipe. Mm. Seriously? <laughs> now this is some breakfast of home plant fish. Let me tell you. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot, but you have to now try. So now I have to the try ham the ham cutter. Ham cutter. Can I do my half? Yeah. Can I cut? You I'm can gonna, do it I'm however you want it. Yeah. But this is how a ham cutter is supposed to be, you know? Salt bread. Yeah. And put it on here. But see, you squish it down. It's right? a little bit too big. Right. So what I'm going to do. You're going to deconstruct it. I'm going to deconstruct it. And I'm going to put a little bit of the coleslaw. Bajans love coleslaw as well. It's true. Right? It's a very Bajan thing. So, and I'm going to put that on top there. Like that. Mm. And I'm going to, instead of, should I just bite into I it? I think just one I bite. I think I should just take a bite. I'm ready with the napkin. Because that's a real, real, that's you know. That's a real that's Bajan thing. Bajan food, right? Bajan salt. Go for salt it. Bread. One, here I go. Two, I'm cutter. Three. Here I come. Yeah. There you go. Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. I think it's rum glazed ham. They have their own little cocktail in the back there that they, they go for. So, yeah. I have to tell you, right, when I saw this come out here, I was like, this is too much food. I can't eat all this. <laughs> well, hopefully we're in a so comment good, right? Rolling. It's yeah. so good. That I feel like I need to try and force myself. <laughs> but it's really, really good, guys. Oh. Yeah, you have to wash it down with a little bit of rum punch. And I'm going to taste a little rum punch here. <laughs> I hope you're not driving. Listen. <laughs> Now, ready? this is rum punch, okay? Hello. All right, Julia, amazing. Thank the you. The ambiance, the food, the cups. Yeah. I mean, I saw this thing out there that you put, like, my, my, grand, my great aunt had at her house with the telephone directory. Yes, yes. With the, the, you yes. know, you put the phone yes, there the and it had the chair. telephone book, the gossip, the gossip chair. chair. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Great. Let me tell you something. Congratulations. Thank well you. Done. you Thanks for coming out. Oh, thank you I'm very much. I'm showing who we are and what we're all about. And more to come. And more to come. Yep. 
And that's it for us here at BT Travel. I'm Natasha King and Julia from This Old House is with me today. Make sure you get here. It's right outside the gates of Sam Lord Castle. It's right before you go into <laughs> the old Sam Lord Castle. This is where we are. And this is the food, this is the ambiance, and it's awesome, guys. <laughs> See you next time on BT Travel.